Let's take a look at the types of flash metering, how they work, and how they are different than non-metered flash. Let's pretend that this pitcher of water represents your speed light, and the water inside the pitcher represents light. The glass on the table represents a sensor inside the camera which measures the amount of light entering through the lens. This is where the term TTL comes from. It means through the lens. The reality of flash photography is that much of the light emitted from the flash never makes it back to the camera and it's lost. This is demonstrated by the spilt water you see here. How does the camera know when enough light has returned through the lens for a proper exposure? It's kind of tricky. Flash metering systems are strategies to help achieve a proper flash exposure. TTL has been around for a while and it was most common on film cameras before 1995 and this is how it works. The camera's built-in sensor has a detector in it and this is represented with the black tape here. Once the sensor fills with enough water or light as indicated with the tape, it gives a signal to the flash, in this case a pitcher of water, to stop pouring. This is something I refer to as quench type control, which means the flash emits light until it is turned off by the sensor. ETTL stands for Evaluative Through the Lens Metering, and it works a little bit differently than TTL. ETTL first pours a known amount of light into the area of view. Now in reality, this is called the pre-flash. It then measures the difference between the amount of light poured and the amount of light that returned through the lens. The camera also takes into account the distance information as indicated by which focus square was used, knowing, you know, we like to focus on our subjects. Because the camera system knows how much light output there was and how much entered the lens and the distance of our subject, it can then quickly calculate how much light would be required for a proper exposure and then fires the main exposure flash after the first shutter opens. What this means is ETTL fires two flashes. It happens so quickly that it appears as only one, but in reality there is the pre-flash to measure the scene and the quick calculation followed by the main flash. If you would like to see this in action, use a long exposure like two or three seconds and set your flash to second shutter curtain and you should be able to see both flashes. ETTL2, which is the metering system used on all Canon cameras made after 2004, is essentially the same as ETTL. 95% of the time, you will want to be shooting with ETTL2, but as a side note, on your flash, it will just read ETTL. ETTL2 adds a few important features to make it even more accurate. ETTL2 has better calculation methods. It can also determine and ignore reflective surfaces within the frame of view. It also pulls focus ring information from certain lenses to better calculate subject distance. If you found this video helpful, you may be interested in my new DVD, 580EX2 Speedlight Crash Course DVD. I also cover the 430EX2 Speedlight. In just a few hours, I'll show you how to use your flash like a pro. It can be ordered from the following link.